What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another swatch and review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So today I am sharing swatches of the Orly Summer 2021 collection which is called Electric Escape and I've been really excited about trying out these polishes. I've been seeing the promos for so long and the shades just looked so gorgeous. So I'm glad I got them and now I get to show them to you guys. Just a quick little background on Orly. If you guys are new to the brand, they are 12 free meaning they are free free of 12 of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. They are vegan, they're cruelty free. They've got massive bottles. I always like to tell you guys they're 18 milliliter bottles, which is my biggest nail polish bottle size. And if you guys haven't heard the news, fun fact about Orly, I actually recently did a collaboration nail polish trio with them. So I have a whole video about that. This is just a shameless self promotion in the middle of a different review. But if you guys want to check that out, I will put it up in the cards for you. And they also have a really impressive formula, especially for neon shades. Neons can be kind of difficult. And I feel like I've already been a little bit disappointed in some of the neon releases this year. So I'm really excited to see that Orly came out with some as well because I just really needed a good neon formula for this summer. So yeah, let me just show you guys these swatches. So roll footage. As always with my swatch and review videos, I am going to be using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today I am using the Orly Bonder base coat. So we'll start off with the shade that I was the most excited about. This color is called Synthetic symphony and as you can see it is an absolutely gorgeous super bright eye searing cool toned purple cream shade and oh my gosh it is just such a vibrant color when I saw it online I was like there's no way it's gonna be this bright in real life and it really is which is absolutely gorgeous it actually applies a tiny bit lighter than it looks but it dries into that more neon-y eye searing kind of finish it's just so creamy and smooth and easy to work with perfect coverage in two coats and oh man it's just absolutely gorgeous by far the best color even though they're all really good next up we have the shade kaleidoscope eyes and this one i actually think compared to the others it falls into the more pastel -y kind of range but when you look at it on its own you can see that there's this sort of hint of that bright neonness to it so it's almost like a pastel neon shade so this one is just a really beautiful very cool toned pink almost has like a little bit of a purpley orchid kind of color color to it and honestly I feel like I could have gotten away with two coats for full coverage on this one but I was just curious to see what it would look like in three coats so I ended up applying a third coat and I thought that it didn't look much more opaque I think two coats is honestly the right amount for me what I was seeing was just like some reflections going on on camera so yeah I think this one would be fine in two coats even though I do have three coats on in this swatch and review but it's a really gorgeous shade again it's just super creamy and smooth not at all what I would expect from a pastel neon color. It was just very opaque and it was just very creamy. Next up we have the shade Artificial Orange, which is actually a really interesting shade of orange. I'm not entirely sure how to describe it because I feel like it kind of sits somewhere between pink, orange, and red, and it also has that bright neon color to it. So it's just an absolutely beautiful shade. This is the color in my mind that I think of when I think of neon. Honestly, this swatch does not do the color justice. I think it's a lot more eye searing and vibrant and neon in real life and it's just another super gorgeous summery shade perfect opacity in two coats and again just an amazing formula next up we have the shade tangerine dream and this is more of that like golden yellowy orange cream shade again it has this super bright neon color to it and again it just had a really impressive formula this is the kind of color that i feel like always looks like it has a white base coat underneath even though you're just applying it on its own there's just so much of that lightness and brightness and it just seems so opaque and you would think a color like this is not going to reach opacity in two coats but it did give me that perfect coverage there was no visible nail line and it just looked absolutely gorgeous on the nails so next up we have the shade neon paradise and as you can see this is a super super bright neon lime green cream shade and this one was actually a slightly different formula than the rest of the polishes in the collection it ended up having a more jelly like feel to it so it was a lot more sheer so i'm not gonna lie i started getting a little nervous nervous around the second coat because it still wasn't fully opaque and I was like oh man this is going to be like a five coater but it did end up giving me full coverage in three coats and I'm not always a fan of three coaters I feel like the only exception to that rule is if a color is really light or if it's a yellow or if the formula is thin and in this case I did think that the formula was thin enough that it didn't feel crazy thick on my nails to have three coats and plus the end result color is just so gorgeous you guys know how I feel about green nail polishes and this one 
one is just so neon and fun, so I ended up really liking it anyway. I also think this particular shade of green pairs perfectly with Synthetic Symphony. It just reminds me of like every Disney villain. <laughs> and last but definitely not least, we have the shade Plastic Jungle, and this one is another green cream. It has a little bit of a bluish undertone, and it's a little deeper of a color. And I feel like this one actually is another shade that my camera does not do justice. I think it's a lot more neon and rich in color in real life, and it almost looks a little bit lighter on camera. So just keep that in mind. I do try my best to color correct the shades and make them as true to real life as possible, but sometimes neons are just really difficult to capture, and this is one of them. But the formula, again, just incredible. I know I sound like a broken record here, but I really do love the Orly formula, and I just felt like the opacity was so impressive. This whole collection, I think, would be really great for nail art. So yeah, definitely another winner for me. So here are all of the colors together, and I have to say I am absolutely in love with the color scheme of this collection. I was actually not until just now, as I am doing the voiceover for this video that I realized that there's basically two purples, two oranges, and two greens, which is honestly kind of a vibe. I really dig it. But yeah, it's just a really nice range of colors here. The majority of them do have that really opaque creamy formula, and then even Neon Paradise, even though it was a little bit on the sheer side, I just feel like that end result color payoff is absolutely worth three coats. So yeah, the whole collection is just a win for me. So yeah, those are the polishes, and I've got to say I am totally loving them. I'm I'm really almost relieved to have such a good neon collection in my hands. The colors are absolutely stunning. I love that they kind of have that rainbowy vibe, but they aren't your typical rainbow colors. And I also love that there are two greens in this collection because there are not enough green nail polishes in the world. So yeah, very much into them. No surprise. I really love the Orly formula. I love their grippy rubber caps. It just makes it so much easier to open. I love their rounded wide flat brush. It just makes application so easy and their formula is super smooth and self-leveling as well. So these polishes, like I said, come in giant 18 milliliter bottles. They retail for $9.50 each. So you can get those directly from the Orly website, which is also where my collaboration shades happen to be. So if you're interested in that, I will link them down below. They're also available on HP Beauty Bar and you can use the discount code Kelly to get 22% off your order there. And if you are a massive Orly fan like me and you love all of their collections, you can actually sign up for their Orly Color Pass. So it's basically a subscription service where you get all four of these seasonal collections and you also get a couple little extra goodies in there and it's at a major discount. I also have a discount code for that. You can use the code Kelly to get $10 off your order for the color pass. So I will link that in the description as well. But yeah, that is it for my review. I would love to hear what you guys think. Are you into these polishes? Did you get them already? Are you a color pass fan? Did you happen to also pick up my collaboration shades? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoyed my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Huge shout out to my Cosmic Admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Braxton, Scott, and Rainbow J. I really appreciate your support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question is the hardest fun fact question of all time, and it comes from Patreon supporter Arlena. And Arlena wants to know, if you had to live the rest of your life not being able to see one color, what color would it be? This includes all the shades of said color. And let me tell you, I've been sitting here for a while trying to think of my answer to this, and every single answer that I think up, I'm like, wait, no, I can't do that one either. Because originally I was thinking, okay, gray, we can just get rid of gray, that's fine. But then that also, doesn't that mean getting rid of black as well? And I feel like a lot of things are black. I feel like that would be very hard. I don't know. What, what color would it be if I can't see it? Is it just invisible to me? Because like all of my technology is black and I think it would be very hard to film videos. <laughs> and then I was also thinking maybe red because it would be cool to just not see blood. But then I was also thinking then I wouldn't get to see pink. And then I also wouldn't be able to dye my hair red or pink, which are kind of my, my favorite colors to dye my hair. So uh, I am at a huge loss here. I have no idea. What color would it be? Could I just not identify that color? Would it just look like another color? Because if so, then I would probably just choose gray and I would like to replace it with purple. <laughs> Even though gray actually happens to be one of my favorite colors. And all of our furniture and stuff in the apartment is navy blue and gray, so then it would kind of ruin my whole color scheme. Oh my gosh, this is the hardest question of all time, and I don't know if I'm gonna come up with an answer. Ah.
maybe I should just pick the color orange because I know a lot of people on the internet actually hate the way that I pronounce the word orange. And I guess I wouldn't have to say it anymore if I couldn't see it. So maybe I'll do that. That's actually not a terrible idea. I think that's my answer, orange. But Arlena, I would actually love to know your response to this because you put me through this, this cruel question. So now you have to answer as well in the comments. And anybody else is welcome to let me know as well. And we can chat about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.